better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. I forgot. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Go away! People are sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Let's talk later, Max.
Curiosity killed the Max. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Oh, don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. My poor Donnie Darko. How could anybody want to break cute little Jake Gyllenhaal? Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. Okay, where did I put the book? Where? My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems.
Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. Sneaky book. You're mine. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. I need to get dressed before I go there. I need to get dressed before I go there. I need to get dressed before I go there. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Meanwhile, my guitar gently sleeps. Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Fine, I won't disturb you. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Go away! People sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. No brook here.
Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate really has a doting father. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Ouch. She left out amnation. Ouch. She left out amnation. Good Lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Poor Kate, she doesn't look good. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately, Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Kate even makes notes in her... Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she's not... Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right.
what about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. I won't either. Thank you, Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. 
Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth... Samuel truly is a weirdo, but he is great at cleaning up. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Ah, there's Samuel. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Take care, Max. And keep listening to the animals.
Max, get over here. Warren is out and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting? For a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. No, oh, I have to see if Brooke wants to go into the driving, Max. Maybe I'll see you later. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. 
hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. You can't have my lottery ticket. Buy your own. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware ugh, makes me feel 13 again. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, hmm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. I'd love to lecture you over coffee, but I prefer to drink in silence and solitude. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Gross.
That graffiti has been here forever. Thank you, redneck poet. This guy has serious cojones. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? These fishermen are so damn quiet. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Still mourning. Thank you. Justin is such a mellow dude. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. See you around, Max. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked, so I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Let's talk later when I'm not so hot. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. That's funny. Our family never went whale watching. Looks fun. And there she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. 
No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. It surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. No. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. 
too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way... Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. You definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so... wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Thirteen cigarettes. I smoke too much to have thirteen cigarettes. Okay, psychic girl. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay, Max. Your car key. Duh, way too easy. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Hmm. Clearly I'm rich as f 86 cents. That's right. So that was cool. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 6.42 a.m. I don't even think about getting up that early. Okay, psychic. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay. I'm pretty... Yes, you know I'm... Seven. A superpower. Amazing. Your car... Duh, wait. A no. You do have... 
a parking ticket. You know. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Hmm. Clearly I... 86 cents. That's right, living large and... Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! Sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. He's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Uh, hello? 
Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. I'd love to lecture you over coffee, but I prefer to drink in silence and solitude. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Later, Mom. Bye, Joyce. Freedom! I feel bad about Kate. She'll survive you not taking that one call. Now follow me, young Squire Max, so we can seriously tap your power and rule the world. I hope Kate doesn't get upset that I didn't answer. Slow down. Wait for me to get your present. You can just back time up. We'll have to test you now to make sure. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God or the gods? So bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Oh, yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works. A god must doth know these things. Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. 
Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. I prepare the shooting range while you look for some bottles. I prepare the shooting range while you look for some bottles. Every car has its own tale in history. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. <sighs> Stupid bottle. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. No way. I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the hush puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. Hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. This was an old school punk shirt. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here.
there's a bonfire spot where people party. Boom. Only three bottles left. Thanks for the tip. Nope, I don't want to go there. Thanks for the tip. Chloe playing with makeup. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. That kind of hurts. Those shells look fresh. <laughs> That's my Chloe. The Bigfoots were here.
I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. One more bottle to go. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy, like we've both gone back in time. That's my Chloe. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Nope, I don't want to go there. So quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here.
there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. What? My rewind power doesn't work on her? I don't get it. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. I know this.
there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Voila, now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road? You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Now, Max, where do I aim? Where to aim just a tad lower. Ready to plank. Max, where do I aim? Aim a bit to your left. Chloe Bond has got this. Max, 
Where do we aim a bit to the right? Beep, beep. Laser tracking on. Looks. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Hello? What? Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! gun? Hold on, Chloe. Shit! I need to rewind and do something fast! Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. <laughs> Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero! Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I... Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? 
Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. I wonder how many generations. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from here. Nope, I don't want to go there. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power. You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the bead poet here. I 
I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ugh. Drum. Come on, Max. Hurry. Please get me out of here. I can't even move it an inch. Max. Awesome. It's not locked. I better find a tool to cut those wires. The train's coming! Max, please! Max, get me out of here! This wedge locks the drum in place. Definitely use this bad boy. I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? 
You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wondering. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. Justin always looks stoned. Where Principal Wells always looks distressed. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Max, I have a meeting. Excuse me. Sir? Oh, hello. No, never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sir? Oh. Alleged? Yes, he... I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you... It's very... Carrying a gun to class is cool, though. Courtney will do anything for Victoria and the Vortex Club. Seriously. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Hello, climate change. Join us, or die. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. 
a Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a get- Really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Can't wait to doll you up. <laughs> Talk soon. Does anybody believe this shit? Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama, even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. When she's hot, rich, talented, what more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. Hey, bro. Later. Zachary always looks like he's ready to throw a football. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Trevor surveys his domain. I should feel lucky to be here. If only I knew what David Madsen was really up Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max. This isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You best not bother chatting me up now. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole, and I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. 
Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. That... It will take more than me. Isn't... I... If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. If my tornado vision came true, it would be the end of the world. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? You can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. I bet Mr. Jefferson has had to deal with a lot of troubled students. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her this morning. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. 
Hello. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Hmm? Uh-huh. Sure, okay. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll do that. Oh, I know. That makes sense. Huh? Mm -mm. Seriously, I have to hang up now. Let's talk about this later. We'll talk later, okay? I have to go. Because I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? Okay. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. Hmm? Uh-huh. Sure, okay. Maybe Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Bo. Tina, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. It's hard to not like Hayden because he just doesn't give a shit. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like no I time to talk, Max. Fuck. Art in progress. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. I can't like believe the principal does. lets him stay Max in school after I told him what little... happened. Shh, I think she can hear us. I feel so awkward after bagging on Victoria yesterday. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And paparazzi. I want that photo whore or I get nasty. Too late. Oh, burn. Max is so fearless when she has backup. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Don't get cocky. This isn't over. In fact, shit's just starting, Max. Assholes. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird.
What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, no smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality T. Thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. again and again. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. 
I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. You are such a liar. You wanted to help by ignoring my phone call? died and I didn't have my charger. I swear. I swear too. Bullshit. Everybody says that to get out of talking. Not me. In fact, I was going to get a brand new phone. Don't say anything if you're going to use a dead phone excuse. Just tell me you didn't answer. I fucked up and I'm sorry. Look, I'm here for you now. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore, either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this route. Suicide is a sin, isn't it? If you believe in hell, you might end up there. 
I don't want that to happen. What difference does it make? I'm already in hell anyway. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over, go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson? I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but... I think I can use my power again. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight, I really thought I could save her. 
Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week.
in the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants every